Ablation of um, persistent atrial fibrillation remains challenging. There is a big unmet need in electrophysiology to find targets for ablation for persistent atrial fibrillation. The success rate we're achieving in ablation of paroxysmal atrial fibrillation has not translated into persistent atrial fibrillation. So there is a general belief in the field that we need to ablate beyond the pulmonary veins for patients with persistent atrial fibrillation. So over the past few years, many targets have been looked at as, as an additional ablation in addition to the pulmonary vein isolation. And none of them has materialized in a way to be used on a large scale, or none of them had shown um, a, a significant improvement over pulmonary vein isolation alone. The radar uh, mapping system uh, is uh, unique because uh, it's based on the idea that there is some hidden organization beneath the random or the apparently uh, random signals of atrial fibrillation. So the radar system allows the operator to find these areas that are driving atrial fibrillation and hence allowing the operator to go and ablate them. This was, it's important to know, this was a pilot a study, a small number of patients, 60, 65 patients, single arm study. So the main aim of the study is to show the feasibility of the system and have a preliminary look at the potential of the system in ablating persistent atrial fibrillation. And this aim was achieved. This, uh, the success rate of ablating these areas in addition to the pulmonary vein isolation has, has, was, we found that it improved significantly the success rate of a fib ablation in this uh, persistent group of patients. One important thing to note and that the patients enrolled in this study, they have a more severe degree of persistence of atrial fibrillation compared to all other studies that are enrolling in persistent atrial fibrillation. So patients have uh, large atria, they, they, they have been in atrial fibrillation for longer time, and many of them had prior failed ablation procedures. Before we talk about uh, impact on a large scale, I think the, uh, the finding of this uh, study were very encouraging. I think it needs to be followed by a larger scale study and maybe comparing it to a conventional technique of ablating persistent atrial fibrillation. And then based on that, I believe that this will have a wide scale applications.